Good morning. Um, please excuse my face. Basically, I have done my face, skin, and my eyeliner because I'm doing the rest of my makeup in the car. But um, I just wanted to quickly film before we left. So this weekend is mine and Sam's first wedding anniversary. So we're going away for a little trip to the New Forest. Um, but we have to leave these here. Look, so this is my anniversary present. This is basically, we wanted to get my bouquet put into a box frame last year. If you can hear my dog, it's because he knows we're going somewhere and he's getting upset about it. Um, yeah, so we wanted to put my flowers into a box frame, but we didn't get round to it. And by the time we got back from our honeymoon, they'd kind of got all ruined and they were all dry. And they still look kind of vintagey and nice, but it's not what we were after. So Sam has had a replica of my wedding bouquet created and found a guy about half an hour away who does box frames. So he's gonna frame my bouquet up and put it in a frame for me, which is so cool, so we can put it on the wall. Um, the other thing he got me, where's it gone? Is this, look at this, this is so lovely. Because obviously your first anniversary is your paper anniversary. So he got me a paper rose in a bottle and it says, pat yourself on the back, you have survived a year of being married to me. <laughs> which I thought was quite funny. So yeah, right, we are now gonna go and drop the dog off at my mum's um, and go down to the new forest. So I will catch up with you again when I have more makeup on. <laughs> right, it's a bit later now. It's quite a lot later actually. We took quite a long time to get going because obviously we had to stop and have a chat with mum and dad. They gave us our anniversary present, which I will show you later because it's lovely. Um, it's now five to three, um, but we are only 50 minutes away. So we have quite come quite a long Stop for a coffee. Will you stop for a coffee? Yes. Uh, what are you excited about this weekend? Uh, I've only got 12, 12 stallions to find, haven't I? <laughs> yeah. Got 12 so to find. For is ponies. I don't think we're going to find 12 stallions. I don't think we are. I mean, it would be impressive. What's special about these 12? Well, they're the only stallions out there. Well, so there's only 12 stallions in the New Forest. Yeah, and they're put out there for the breeding program oh. to make sure that there's more New Forest ponies there next year, baby ones. Okay. So yeah, so we should see some babies and some stallions, hopefully, if we can find them. But that's one of the things we're gonna do this weekend. So we don't really have many plans, we're just gonna kinda see how we go. I'm so excited about the cottage we're staying in. Um, I will film it as soon as I get there because it's so cute. I think it's cute anyway, the pictures look cute. So if the pictures are true, then it's lovely. Um, yeah, so other than that, probably just eating out going for walks, seeing what's around, maybe some shopping. Yeah. We've hit some traffic. Um, this is the cutest place. Oh, what are we in? Sense. What is this place called? Wood Green in mm. Fording Bridge. Fording Bridge. Oh, yeah, we're going the right way. We are one the mile. The is on your right. Arrived. 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 Oh. Okay. Yeah. What castle cottage we need. Okay, it's up a hill back there. I'm assuming this is a big cottage. I don't think it's a big cottage, no Sam, I think it's a tiny cottage. No, it's not, it's, it's, it's on the grounds of their big cottage. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought they lived in the castle and we were staying in Castle Cottage. No. Oh, okay. I've rode it in. This is our dwellings for the weekend. It's on the back of somebody's house. And it used to be three sheds, but it's now a little thatched cottage. So we go in here, this is Florence, who I think will be spending some time with us this weekend in case we drop any biscuits. Hey, pretty girl. And then you come in here, and there's Sam. And this is a little kitchen. Yeah, yeah, so we've got a little cooker and a little, it's an um, electric heater but it looks like a log burner. And then in here is the bedroom and the shower. And that is the extent of it. Is this not the cutest little thing you've ever seen? And the toilet is in there. Yeah, so this is our weekend. I'm so excited, I love it. You come out of the front. Oh, just even I have to duck. Mm -hmm. um, you come out here and the, the new forest is literally here 
and just up here and she's, they have to shut the front gate because the ponies wander into the drive so um I think we're going to go for a couple of nice little walks. There's a lot of little country pubs around, which we're definitely going to investigate. I feel like we're just going to pub hop. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, Pims. Yeah, Pims. And we need to find somewhere to go for dinner, don't we? Yeah. And there's a little um, village shop, which I feel like is just someone's front room with some bread and some eggs in <laughs> down the road. So we're going to go and investigate in a minute, I think. Yeah, really, really cute. Oh, Shetland. Yeah. <laughs> That's a Shetland. Donk, that's a donkey. That's a Shetland. We're going to the pub and we found loads of horses and donkeys and... Oh, that was a little sleep. Okay, that's so hard. we need to remember this oh. for tomorrow. That is, yes, that is a donkey. A sleeping donkey. Uh, that's a nice skinny horse. <laughs> They're wild, Sam. <laughs> They're fending for themselves. I need to a bit more grass than that. <laughs> I mean, it's got enough, so I'm sure it'll be fine. Okay, we need to remember this place tomorrow, Sam, because I want to take photos of those ponies. It's just a cow. It's a bit dirty, that one. We found our pub. So the good news is this pub is absolutely gorgeous and we have, like, incredible views over there. And I have a Pim's and we have some crisps. But the bad news is that um, they don't do food at the moment. Food has finished at three. Look right there, that was a very big. Nice. So where are we going? I'm looking the Lamb Inn, I think. The Lamb... In no Man's Land. At No Man's Land. Oh, here we go. The yeah. Lamb Inn. No Man's Land. It's a Salisbury. Yeah. The place is No Man's Land. Huh? The place is called No Man's Land. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna go there. We're gonna have a drink here, have some crisps, and then find our way to No Man's Land. Sounds good to me. This lens needs to clean. Let's do that. This little foal is causing carnage. It's just gonna wander into the Range Rover. I mean, oh, it's so cute. Look at its little bum. <laughs> Mother, sort your foal a, out. Okay, we're trying the lamb in now. After all that traffic with all those ponies. Oh my God, it smells good. Yay, they fed us have a burger. Oh, look at that. And Sam has a burger. Are you learning Instagram, Sam? I'm just chatting the fan chat. Oh, okay. He was learning Instagram. Yeah, I've learned. <laughs> You've <a> learned. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> we just come out of the pub. And this little chap or girl, I don't know. Why? <laughs> no, I don't think it is. <laughs> it's definitely not. Hi! Oh, I'm annoyed. Why did I not bring my camera tonight? Tomorrow. Hi guys! Wasn't that one filled a minute ago? Yeah, that's the one we saw. Hey Litlen! This is not your camera. Hey. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah, I mean, I don't think anyone's put any fly spray on them today. Hi everyone! Just stand in there. This is cute, I like this little one. <laughs> Are you not comfortable with this, Sam? Where are we going? It's going for a little walk. The next this stop. Missing out. He's gonna get upset about this one. He is, yeah. Get a career over here. Then what are you gonna do? I'm jumping under this car. <laughs> oh God, here he comes. Oh buddy, your friends have gone. What's he doing, not buddy? Where are they off to? Like what? Are they? they all just all of a sudden thought, actually, yeah. we're done here. Oh my god, I so wish this happened in Essex. Yeah, not overly keen. Got more roadblocks. Stony. What are they actually going to do? Because you're going to have to go around that little coloured pony at the back there. You're going to have to go around it. Is it not going to move? No. 
That's a bit arrogant. <laughs> I mean, guys, look at all that space. Why are you standing there? Studies. Look at it. So, look, look, look. I don't know if you remember, um, you probably don't, I don't actually know if it was even in the vlog, when we went away for my 30th with some of our friends, we found a horse and the boys named it Stoney, after our friend who's called James Maloney, so it was like Stoney Maloney, I don't know, it's stupid. But now Sam just thinks every bay horse we meet is Stoney. Mm. You're allowed to say they're skinny Sam, they don't belong to anyone. I can hear you going, It's just a bit more grass. Bit ribby that one. It is. This place is so beautiful. I was just saying, if someone came on holiday to England and this is where they came, I feel like this would be a really good representation of our country. It's just so pretty. Oh, now, now we've got a hitch, so it's not so pretty. That's a pretty hitch. Look. Good morning, Florence. Did you come to steal our breakfast? Did you? Can you smell our croissants? Good morning. My hair is doing some crazy things today. The humidity is just, I feel like Monica on Friends. If you've not seen that episode, then we can't be friends. You don't know the episode I'm talking about, do you? Nope. Anyway, um, this morning we are off to Lulworth Cove, um, I think. Because the woman that runs the cottage that we're staying in was like, wow, good luck, it's going to be so busy. But, you know, we're on holiday, so we thought a nice little trip to the coast, seeing as it's so near, um, would be a nice little addition. So we're going to go down there, we're going to have a little look at, like, Durdle Door and all of that, and have a wander, and then maybe have some fish and chips. I don't know, if it's really, really busy, then she said maybe come back up to Christchurch and Avon Beach, which is slightly closer, um, and apparently they have really good fish and chips there, and it would probably be slightly less busy than Lulworth, so we'll see how we go. Anything to add? Today? No, mm -hmm. nothing to add. Do you ever have anything to add? These people on my blog will think you have no personality, <laughs> and that you're a miserable git. Well, you can tell them how much personality I have. I've got a very good personality. Sometimes, when he wants I haven't had my coffee yet, to be fair. No, that's true. It was, there was no coffee that was up to Sam's standard in the cottage, so I think our first stop is now to that find... that makes me sound like a snob. You are a bit of a coffee snob. No! You are, but there will be lots of people watching this that are also coffee snobs, because I feel like that's... I don't drink coffee, but I feel like that's one of those things that if you are into coffee, then you have to have the right coffee. So anyway, so yeah, I think the first stop is going to be to find Sam some coffee so that his shining personality comes out of it. <laughs> Look at this little chocolate box village. It's so pretty. Finley's ice cream. <laughs> Sam said there wouldn't be much left in Finley's ice cream and calf if Finley actually owned it. Tea shop? Oh look, they've got salted caramel ice cream in there, Sam. Butterscotch pecan. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Look at that water. It's sparkling. Oh, this is such a nice little place. Sorry if it's really windy, but I could not feel. Oh my god. Chasing the ducks. <laughs> I'm not dressed for this plan. <laughs> um, just on the stones, and I'm trying to skim stones, but I'm not very good at it. Let's just wait till these people have gone. So, what do I have to do? Like this? I got the. <laughs> Hmm, your turn. Mm 
No, sunk like a stone. <laughs> Funny that. Relocated to up on the hill because it's more, more of a breeze here. And I mean, the view's not bad. Looking at me. <laughs> Pretty stunning. What are we doing next then? Fish chips. Yeah, shall we? There's a boat cove cafe or something down there. So. Oh yeah, ponies up there. I wouldn't want to go and get them in. Can you imagine having to turn them out and get them in? Well, no, I can't actually, I'll be honest. I'm going to try and find Dirtle Door. We think it's up the top of this hill. We're not sure what is my hair doing. <laughs> this is not a good, this is not a good hair day. And so he knows exactly what yeah. it entails. Mm. That's what I need a few more tools to be able to do things <laughs> like that. Look at these crazy people. Looks a bit silly to me. Goodness. We've come back into the little village to go to the pub because we passed this pub on the way in and it's just adorable. So we thought we would make use of that. I don't know what he's doing. Any time today? What? Coming? Yeah, I put my shoes on, you just got out and left me. <laughs> Look. Sam's got to get menus and I've found a little beer garden. I don't know why everyone's sitting down there by the road when there's this little gem. Where shall I go? Somewhere with an umbrella. This one maybe? You know when we're sitting up there and not by the road because they don't serve food up there. So we've had to come and sit down by the road. I was like, look, it's lovely. I don't know why no one's sitting up here. I mean, that was why. But anyway, I've got my Pims. He's got his cider. I thought you were going to say, got your husband. Got my husband. And it, I mean, it's very cute. I feel like it's very royal wedding y. They've got their bunting up and everything. And I've ordered a pizza and Sam's ordered his fish and chips, which he's been trying to get for about an hour now. <laughs> Nowhere did it down on the front, so good choice. That'll do. Huh? We're back in the new forest, we've driven back. Um, <laughs> traffic's bad again. <laughs> That's so funny. I'm just saying, if these were outside our house, Barney would just go absolutely ballistic. I mean, I've got a lot of questions surrounding this. Who do they belong to and why are they not taking better care of them? Sun's having an itch. Like, do they, does the person that owns them know where they are? And when they need them, can they find them? Like, it's just a very just strange concept. The they're at all. No, they're just like, Tootling down the road, not in a hurry. This one's having a little scratch on the village hall signpost. Babies. Oh, look at the little calves. As you do. Yeah, we're going to find the ponies. We are. <laughs> Sofa's off photographing, but I've found the stallion. I'll leave it to you to find out which one it is when you see this. <laughs> yep.
this one just can't be bothered to walk. Yeah, I'm lagging. Look, 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 look. He's whacking the chest, isn't he? I heard that. What's he doing? We're just wandering back to the car. Um, <laughs> Sam was on vlog duty. And there was a really exciting bit. I mean, it was exciting for me. Honestly, watching the behaviour and the herd politics between a wild herd is fascinating. Um, so we stayed, we've been here for quite a while, haven't we? Yeah. About an hour? <laughs> Um, just watching them and it's really really interesting and there was one point where there was a little grey mare who was like neighing across the herd and like going and getting a mare and foal and bringing them across to the other side and for some reason that gave him the ump and so then he was chasing this little grey mare all around that big space um, and then every time she would settle he would go after her again the stallion this is not Sam no, I wouldn't do that and why did you not film it Sam? Because they were running at us. <laughs> they were running away. <laughs> he thought they were going to run at us. But, um, you don't let us have enough distance between you. Like, he, was, in the middle of it. he was like, oh, oh, I think they're coming this way. Um, so he didn't film the stallion chasing around, which was really cool. But I think I've got some photos. This whole vlog is just going to be about animals in the road. So we'd, the donkeys are just in the way. I mean, they get out of the way. Pretty decent. Yes, guys. Someone's got his head stuck in some tree. Oh, there's more. What's that? Is that a donkey? Someone needs to look after these. I know, that's what I think. This one's lagging behind, look. Hey, you need to go out, bud, come on. Chop, chop, little fella. He's just going straight for us. Okay, Good. Where, are you, where are you going, bud? <laughs> I love how they're just not scared of the car. I know. And once again, so we have gone home and come back out and I feel like it's just another episode. I Should I go guys. and chase it? Yeah, I love these guys. I don't know. Let me get out. I'm gonna stand here. There she goes. Horse whisperer. What do you want to do? No, you haven't eaten it. So this evening, um, <laughs> we messed up a little bit because none of the, we've been out for like a meal last night, but we were thinking that our main meal out would be tonight. We didn't take into account that it's Sunday and nothing is open, like literally nothing is open. Um, the only place that we could get food was the Chinese. So we thought rather than have a Chinese, and go back to our little cottage where there isn't really much living space. It's kind of just like somewhere to sleep really. Um, we thought we would bring it out here. So we have ponies over there. I just terrified a little foal. Um, and there's some ponies over there. And I would quite like to take some photos as the sun goes down anyway. So that was the aim for this evening, but we were gonna have dinner first or after. So we've decided to incorporate it. So I've got a, uh, can of pims and sam's got a bottle of cider we've got some chocolate <laughs> we've got a takeaway it's perfect and it's such a nice evening so we're literally just sitting by the side of the road but you know what there's nowhere else i'd rather be there's a problem with our plan guys <laughs> <laughs> they're so brave i thought they'd be really wary but no clearly they get fed and they know what the rustling of bags means Look at it just standing there. What's your Chinese? I'm not having my Chinese. <laughs> right, we've moved away from our donkey friend who, I don't know if you can see, but is still standing where we left her. You can't really see. There she is, look. I think she thought we were her new herd. Now she's very upset Which that we've left. Look at her, she's fair. still standing there. Anyway, so we've just moved a little bit further up because the light up here is really pretty and I'm going to photograph this lot. That's a load of cows, by the way. No, they're ponies. And they're ponies. They're cows. And there are ponies over here too. I should. 
suicide You should know that I'm well aware I don't want anything left untried Will you come with me, mon cher? So let us just do my love And not stop thinking of this over morning um it's actually tuesday morning this morning so if i manage to get this vlog edited and up online before this evening when it's supposed to go up um it will be a miracle i also have a shoot today so i need to go and do that now um and hopefully when i get back i can i've, I've edited most of the vlog <laughs> there's just a couple of bits i still need to do um but before i finished i just wanted to show you a few things um I think the last I filmed was when we were sitting watching the sun go down over the New Forest having eaten our Chinese. Um, so yeah, it was such an idyllic weekend. It was just lovely. It was just what we needed. Really relaxed. Um, super chilled. But there's a couple of things I just wanted to show you. First thing is what my mum and dad bought us for our wedding anniversary. Barney, just sit down. He knows I'm going out in a minute they bought us this album which is so gorgeous and the reason I wanted to show you hang on is because I feel like these are the photos that you won't have seen um, it's like rather than a proper wedding album it's the lead up to it so this is from my hen do this was the save the date that we did with Barney it's from the hen do and the stag do again more pictures from the hen <laughs> drunk pictures from the hen <laughs> That was my stripper. <laughs> uh, pictures from the stag do. So both of my brothers and Sam's brother. More from the stag do, but you don't need to see that one. And then like the prep of the wedding. This is us painting the horseshoes gold. This is the fairy lights in the garden. Toby doing DIY. Look, Toby won't let me put him on the vlog. So he has no choice now. <laughs> That's my middle brother that no one th knows I have because he won't be on the vlog. Yeah, this is let everyone at the house getting ready and everything we did. The marquee going up. Yeah, I mean, I don't want to bore you, but I feel like these are such special memories. This is the morning of the wedding. Everyone getting ready. All the girls' dresses. Yeah, and these are the photos that you won't have seen many of. The boys getting ready. Sam's dad had the wrong size trousers. It was absolutely hilarious. Sam and his mummy. My brothers. And then, yeah, some more from the day. But these are mostly like phone photos rather than professional photos. And they're just really special. So yeah, I just wanted to show you that one. That's what my mum and dad bought us. Um, but also, I've had some lovely deliveries. So I speak to a lady over in New Zealand quite a lot. She's a photographer and she often sort of asks my advice and we chat about um, photography and that kind of thing. And she wanted to send me a gift. So she sent me this beautiful book, which has got like loads of gorgeous photographs in it. Um, so yeah, I can't wait to have a spare five minutes where I can sit down and look through this pro properly but thank you so much Nikki that's beautiful and then this other one so this one I was very excited about this lovely lady did this I didn't ask her to do this she just did this and sent it to me and was like I hope you don't mind I mean how could I mind how incredible is that Barney look it's you <laughs> it was before you had a haircut I am just blown away by this. So let me try and find her details. So yeah, she this the lady that does this is April Rain Equine Art. Um, obviously, she is super talented. She does mostly horses. But yeah, she just drew, drew Barney for me. And I'm blown away. So I'm going to have to find somewhere to put that up on the wall. 
but I'll leave her link in the description below. So that is all for this week. I really do need to get to my shoot now, but I just wanted to add that on to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. I can't believe it's been a year since her wedding. I will leave the link to my wedding vlog below um, because I think that's probably, if I had to delete every vlog on my YouTube channel and leave one, I think it would be that one. It's so special. It's hilarious as well at the end. So make sure you go and check that out if you haven't already. If you've been following me since then, thank you very much. Um, I'll be back next week with another vlog, but until then, please like and subscribe, and thanks for watching. I'll see you then. <laughs>